Hey everybody, Dave Piper here for the silliest thing I saw this week, week two edition, presented by Viore. I'm sure you guys know, but this show wouldn't be possible without our sponsor, Viore, makers of some of the best clothing on the planet and some of the best clothing for the planet. I say that because Viore clothes are largely made from recycled materials. They are great active wear, but also they are unbelievably soft and great casual wear for around the house. So head over to vioreclothing.com slash Harris for 20% off and get yourself some awesome clothes. Yeah, so here we are, Broncos versus Houston Texans in the second quarter. And, you know, actually, I'm going to go back to week one and give you guys a little bit of context here in case you missed it. But in week one, at the end of the game, Nathaniel Hackett doesn't call a timeout on fourth and five with about a minute to go in the game. Now, there's an argument to be made here that you bleed out the clock and then you kick the field goal. And that gives Seattle very little time to get down the field to kick their own. But the argument is lost, however, when when your field goal is a 64 yarder, which this one was which they missed, resulting in a Broncos loss and our first glimpse at Nathaniel Hackett having some issues with clock management. So we're back to week two with the Broncos here on third and sixth, and Denver fails to convert, and the fans have had enough of the flat performance from the Broncos' offense. And this crowd is becoming more and more restless. The Broncos have to punt. And actually get a quick three and out from Houston, and the Broncos get the ball right back. And I'd like to tell you that the Broncos just marched down the field confidently, but they had some rough penalties that made it hard to get here in the first place. But they do make it to the first and goal situation. And to understand what the Bronco fans are booing about, here are the plays called. They throw on first down, run on second down, and throws it away on third down. And the boos start again. Throws it away, and once again... With booze raining down, Denver is not able to get it done in a goal-to-go situation. Probably feeling a little bit of pressure from the crowd. Hackett initially thinks he's going to go for it, which is a perfectly fine idea, but he gets cold feet halfway through and eventually decides to take a field goal, but doesn't give the kicking team enough time to set up and takes a delay of game, which may have actually been on purpose, but I doubt it. This ends up being inconsequential. They make the field goal, but it's an example of Hackett's inability to manage the clock. Fast forward to the third quarter. Denver's up against a fourth and two, and there's some indecision or confusion on Denver's part. So with like 10 seconds on the play clock, Hackett burns Denver's first timeout. That's not the worst thing to do when you're trying to convert a fourth down in a close game, but I can't help but see this as more indecisiveness on Hackett's part. But they do convert. The problem is, just a few plays later, Hackett calls this stinker. It's third and one. Broncos have had some great runs out of Javante today, but Hackett goes with a outside run with his tight end, Andrew Beck, for Andrew Beck's second ever handoff in the NFL. The last handoff Beck had was in 2019 against the Lions. That one went for three yards. So it's fourth down, and we can see Hackett say, I want you to run. And then some kind of thing afterwards, like a play. I I can't really read his lips there. And the camera cuts perfectly. And we can see Russ nod and say something back like, okay, yeah, we're going to go for this. But apparently Hackett changes his mind again. And the kicking team goes out. But like before, you can see they can't get ready fast enough because of the confusion. This backs them up out of field goal range and they have to punt. Crazy stat. The Broncos only had two delay of game penalties all of last season. This is the second one this game, and the fans are pretty upset about it. That's brutal. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. That is absolutely brutal. Two delay of game penalties on Monday night in Seattle, and a crusher right there. That takes us to the fourth quarter, and the Broncos' defense has held Houston to a fourth and 14. The Broncos are about to get the ball back, but Denver has to spend their second time out because the Broncos didn't send out a returner for the punt. Now, people, this is silliness at its peak. I actually think the announcer says it best. How does that happen? How do you not have a returner go out? And I love that you can hear like a fan or maybe one of the coaches just blow his top on the mic. What is going on? And-, and a few plays later, Russ gets sacked. And I wish I could tell you what happened here, but... The broadcast doesn't really give me a whole lot to work with, but somehow Hackett doesn't get the play in fast enough and the offense tries to get set up, but Hackett has to call his last time out to avoid another delay of game penalty 
because it's second and 16. There are nearly eight minutes left in the fourth quarter in a four-point game, and Nathaniel Hackett just used his last time out. The smartest thing I saw Hackett do all day is this. Get the red flag out of here. This is a real, like, save me from myself moment. So, later on in the fourth, because their team doesn't have any more timeouts and cannot save themselves from any more delay of game penalties, the crowd decides to take the game into their own hands and starts counting down the play clock, something I have never seen at a football game. Hinton goes in motion. Wilson to throw. And two. Offense, Andrew. Where were they in the first half? That's a good one, Michael. I haven't heard that one before. With the fans counting down the play clock. Yeah, and despite Nathaniel Hackett's best efforts, they get a little bit of help from the fans and they get their first win at home. But I can't imagine a lot of wins coming when they're being coached like this. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. If you like this video, share it somewhere for me. That would be a big help. And also, I read every single comment. So if you comment below, I will read it and probably respond. Thanks so much for watching. Please, please, please smash that like button. Write a comment. Tell us who else you'd like to see us review film on. And of course, best of all, please subscribe to our channel and then click that little bell above the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever we post a new video.